What's up, nerds? It's Pat from the Nerds You're Looking For podcast, and I'm really excited to get to episode two of our walkthrough of What Remains of Edith Finch, and we're starting right now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. We found Molly's story, which was just super, super trippy. Apparently, she got sent uh, to bed without dinner, and she just ate decorations and toothpaste and then she became a cat and ate a bird then she was an owl ate some rabbit she was a shark that ate a seal then she was just a sea monster it was super super weird so i don't not quite sure what we're supposed to do now but i'm sure it's going to be super weird i think this is the only thing that we can uh, interact with right here so there's the cat this will be obvious later but my mom never told me any of these stories. No shit, because they're crazy. Like bringing up the past. Though, when All we adopted right. a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Why is this taking so long to, to load? It didn't last time we were playing. That's really weird. I thought for some reason that that was a confederate flag. I was like, ooh, a that's she a bad taste. He was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> that's messed up. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. It's a but tough old lady. She was a celebrity. We gotta watch one of these tapes. I haven't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Oh, that makes sense. Edie gave a they never put those two two together. Living under the Finch house, my mom was furious. Are these just pictures of owls in cages. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every okay, year. Okay, I guess we're done with that. Just in time to it wasn't like I was ones. looking at it or anything. Whatever. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Cool, cool, cool. Her room was like a museum. Guess we're going to figure out her story Before next. That'll be the, years, the next thing that we do. Famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. That's what you get for trying to sail away with a house, you dumbass. With his daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay, so that's it. So we Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long way. Oh, okay. We didn't do Edie. We just did Odin's. So we're just compiling stories from all the family members. So are we done with her? Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh, that dis that's disgusting. It, it reminds me when we bought trace. when we bought our house that I'm living in right now. Uh, I don't know why I phrased it like that. That's weird. Uh, the, when we bought our house is what normal people say. Uh, there was one room, and I, I guess the the couple that had two little girls, and the room that I'm in right now that we're calling my office was from floor to ceiling bright yellow literally the carpets the ceiling everything was this bright yellow and the room that's just like our guest bedroom now was floor to ceiling exactly the same except for it was bright 
pink like this room right here that I'm in right now it was ridiculous it would literally like you would walk into the room and you'd be in there for a little bit and then you'd still see pink after you left There's like that's how bright it was bathroom. it's in the last place you would look it isn't in the cupboard it's hidden in this book so we're gonna get to another story Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. How do I crouch? From the paintings on the wall, it's clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Get out of my way, chair. I own you, chair. Her mom's a real bitch. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. For locking all this stuff. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Your mom's kind of a bitch. All right, here we go. We're gonna get Calvin's right here. How I want to remember my brother. By Sam Finch. Oh, I guess this is Sam. The thing Sam. I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Or maybe it's Calvin. I don't know. Where I guess we're gonna find out. I don't know why I'm sitting here guessing. Can we? Can we? Swing or what? Let's swing. Swing. What is swinging? What? What do you want me to do? Swing faster. My brother said he'd die before. Oh, we there we go. Bathroom. You gotta use both legs. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. He's pretty sick on this swing. Wanted to fly. Can I jump off this swing here in a second? Let's go. That day. He finally made up his mind to do it. We're gonna swing. I told him going around was impossible. It's not impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh shit. Calvin's going Maybe down. He'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Calvin's That's bad. That's I remember about my brother. Oh shit! And we're going down. <laughs> oh, he made it all the way around. Congrats. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Shit, this is this game is so fucking weird. <laughs> this game is so weird. So that was Calvin. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Every kid has done that. Every kid wants to make it all the way around. That is a thing that every kid does. Don't say it's like unique to you. It's not every everybody does that. All right, so I just leave where I came from. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Well, that's very sad. How do I, how do I leave the room? Oh, here we go. Oh, I forget that I have to do something else sometimes. <laughs> oh, again, forget that I have to do something, <laughs> something else sometimes. Sometimes you just have to hit the right, the left trigger, and then sometimes you actually have to interact with stuff. It's very odd. This house is. 
fucking weird. Like, why is it built like this? Tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Maybe you should lose some weight. Barbara was a child star for two years. Okay, I'm, I until actually America grew out of it. I actually want to look at that. Oh, okay, that was all we needed. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. She's famous. This is so weird. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. So there's that. What room is this? As a kid, I just assumed everything oh, was in okay. and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. No, that's that's super weird. That's a super weird thing that your mom did. But I guess if you only lived in this one house, you would just assume that every house is like this. I think this is the first room that we were in. Yeah, this is the first room that we were in. Uh, okay, so... Where'd we come from? I'm already lost in this super creepy room. Or house. So we came from downstairs. Then we turned and came over here. We were in this room, right? Yeah, because that's where the painting. So we've been in that room. We were in that room. And we definitely were just in that room. We need something that we can interact with. That's Molly's room. Are we missing something? I gotta be missing something. There's gotta be something I can interact with. Let's go downstairs real quick. Okay, so it started loading again, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. Because that means typically that we're going in the right direction. I think this is the first room I looked through the people. Yep. It's a library, and she said that creepy thing about people being buried in it. Huh. I think I pretty much explored the downstairs, though. Because they ordered a lot of Chinese food, I remember that. This should be the garage, it is. So where the hell are we supposed to go? Can we leave? We can't leave. Interesting. So I guess we're going back upstairs. Am I just missing something? That was the last place that actually something happened. More creepy bugs. Interesting. Can we go back in this room? If there's anything else in this room that... No, we can't even backtrack. That was a creepy sound. Not a fan of creepy sounds. What door have we not been in? I mean, I know we've been in this door. Right? Because that's where the... Edie was doing her painting. Uh, what was it? It wasn't Milton, it was the other one. The other one that died. So many people to remember. How do I, how do I crouch? I guess it's not going to let me crouch right there. 
What is this? Mom, oh, okay. There are four stairs on the night. There we go. We figured it out. Well, I guess not, cause. Because now I can't get in there. Well, that was momentary. So, where the... Oh, here we go. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. What a weird dude. So what now? We can't go upstairs. Do we just keep wandering in aimlessly around the house until we find something else to interact with? All right, guys. So I actually uh, figured it out. So what you need to do is you need to go downstairs. There's a music box. I think I, I discovered it in the first episode, and we played with it a little bit. Uh, apparently, it opens this little cabinet right here. And so you go down here, and we're going to be able to get into Barbara's room. So there we go. I walked around yeah. for probably I thought of Barbara as a child story. like 15 minutes trying to figure everything out but the music box was the only thing that I could mess with so I went ahead and messed with it and that's what was able to uh, unlock that and I never thought it still took me a while for her afterwards it still took me a while because I didn't realize that I had to walk up to it to actually get me to crouch down I thought I actually had to crouch down myself So we're going to get to know a little bit about Barbara All now. All the stories people wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale. That's creepy. By America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Super, super creepy. <laughs> As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. That doesn't seem like it would be. Her scream hadn't aged well. Ooh. Ooh. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest... Don't whip out your dick. <laughs> ...current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd oh no! The table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Is that the one that was building the dragon s slide? Was babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Oh no! Okay, I'm hearing frustration but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Cook's <laughs> Island tonight. Please this game is kids. awesome. That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is... This house is so freaking weird, man. And winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Nice, now we can get in the basement. Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key... Oh, I'm actually doing this. But the house was silent. 
I didn't know if I was still controlling it or not. Oh, I am controlling it. Oh, the, <laughs> the Halloween music. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this game so much. It's so much fun. And imagine the worst. Oh, shit. Can I knock these down? Yeah. Suck it. We're knocking everything off the shelf. Come on. You're gone. Get off the shelf. We're good at hitting things off shelves. Can I knock these down too? Okay. Let's let's move it along. Except for I gotta knock these off. Obviously, I'm gonna knock these off. Okay, now we're good. The gang's leader is the oh shit, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. These are super creepy. What the hell is wrong with this family? It's a really strong crutch. Oh, it's a little workout room back here. Excuse me, bag. Oh, it's rattled and grew steel. Ah! Ah! So risky! Oh, I was still saying it. Oh! <laughs> what a Mark, douche. Relax. I was what just a trying douche. to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. She's pissed! Furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him Kick him in the dick! She kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? I was still <laughs> holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't this when she dies? Walter, what's going on up there? Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, we're dead, Walter. She's gonna beat you to death with that that crutch. Oh, I'm controlling her again. Quicker! I'm gonna knock this off. Oh, I can't. I can't knock that off. That sucks. That sucks, game. It's weird. Why are there roller skates? Okay, here we go. Walter, are you there? Why are you whispering? Vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. Oh shit, super creepy. With a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the This would be a really boring comic book, to be honest with you. I returned. Saw the hook man. And was speechless. <laughs> he was quite smashing. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoop his ass. Was, he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Yeah, because your house is super freaking weird. He played her part. Go into the creepy cat girl's room, and then we can get outside, right? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. All right, so we're not leaving, I guess. I because she's a creepy cat. Oh shoot! The roller skate. It wasn't moving. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. So we're going to beat him to death with this crutch. We're going to go down there and he's going to be gone. Hurry up. You'd think he'd be in a hurry. Yep, he's gone. The man had vanished. No shit. He for his breathing. But all he oh, man. was... Shit, 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 shit. She's gonna hit whoever is on the other side of this door. At the door, 
Why would they whisper if they're inside the house? <gasps> oh shit. I don't think you got enough crutches. Surprise! Bravo! Bravo! You were wonderful! You just whooped some stranger's ass? Surprise! But she nearly killed that hook man. What kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch what? gave the performance of her life. I thought that it was Comic Con monsters. I wasn't weird. Myself, but I. What a weird story. It was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Rick totally did it. Hiding under his bed the whole time. What a puss. It was all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh, gross. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. That was terrible. <laughs> that was the worst part of your story right there. Oh, I hate bad puns. I love puns, but I hate bad ones. All right, so we got Barbara's story. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. How was that happy? All right, guys, so I think that's a good place to wrap up our second episode of What Remains of Edith Finch. I'm going to mess that name up. I guarantee it. So... Such a mouthful. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you did. Uh, comment and subscribe below. If you do subscribe, definitely hit that bell button. That just gives you notifications anytime we post any type of video. And as always, I will put all of the other links to all of our other stuff, including the podcast, the nerd you're looking for, in the video description below. For Patrick Kuhn, I am the nerd you're looking for. Take it easy, guys.